hi guys so i know it has been a while i think it's been since december that i posted a video but i am back during this time of quarantine i hope you are all safe and healthy at home i am going to take this time to create and do really whatever i want to do at home and today i thought what a perfect time it's pretty sunny out it's Sunday. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So I'm going to DIY a pair of pants and a hoodie that I bought from Walmart for $5. I will show you all the materials that you need. I saw something on TikTok the other day of someone doing something kind of similar. But today I'm going to kind of go off of that and put my own little spin on it. So I'm here to show you how to DIY a pair of pants and a hoodie. I hope this turns out. I don't know if it will, but I'm going to film it and hope it does. So I hope you enjoy and let's get right on into the video. Okay, so I'm sitting on my floor about to get on my computer. I personally want to do a pair of DIY, like, what is the word? Designer. Designer DIY pants. So I went on to Google. Let me make sure that this is. I went on to Google, literally Googled Chanel logo vector. Um, you can also do Louis Vuitton, whatever designer you want to do. So I googled this. I pulled up an image like such. I'm sure you can see. And then I just opened a Google Doc and I pulled a Chanel. I think I want to do my hoodie Chanel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this and cut out the white. So when I place it on the jacket, I'm going to use a paintbrush, as you're going to see and paint in the white and hope that it works with bleach. So this I'm gonna use for my jacket. And then I copied and pasted just some Louis Vuitton symbols and the actual Louis Vuitton symbol that I'm going to try to put on my pants. So I'm going to go print these out. Literally, I just did one per page the Louis Vuitton logo the biggest these a little bit smaller and then this for my jacket so I'm gonna go print these out and then I'm going to go outside and place these on my clothes to make sure that they're the right size and then we'll go from there here are all my symbols I just printed I am going to cut them out here are my cutout shapes. Honestly, that was probably the most challenging part of the entire project. So the areas that are open is where I'm going to paint the bleach. So you just have to be very, very careful when cutting to like keep the little pieces. So when you place them on your pants, you can tape them down. So now I'm going outside. I'm going to tape these four down on my pants. See, this is a little Chanel piece. Um, I'm going to tape these four down on my pants and start painting. Here are the materials. These Wrangler pants I thrifted from Goodwill the other day. I just used some scissors literally and slit a hole in the butt. When I wash them, I think it'll fray, but first I want to bleach them. I'm going, well, the scissors are for the hole. This is literally just to dip in the Clorox. I'm gonna get a little container or a cup to dip that in and paint some rubber bands. I got these just in case I like wanted to tie dye this like at some corners, I don't know, we'll see. There's my Clorox. And then here's just my plain black hoodie from Walmart. So I'm going to take all of this, I'm gonna grab a cup and go outside. I just placed all of my cutout pieces on my pants. I taped them down because it's kind of windy. And now I am about to pour my bleach and hope that it works. I just poured my little bowl of Clorox and now I'm about to start dipping and then just like blotting on. I wish I had a smaller paintbrush, but I don't. So, here we go. You don't forget your first love. We were young and wild. We were up all night. You don't forget that summer sun, 2000. 
2009, we were feeling high. And I got drunk for the first time. I thought I was cool. I thought I looked smooth in your eyes and tried to make a move. is what it looks like so far. I feel like it's starting to bleach. We'll see. I don't really know how long you're supposed to leave it on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit you back down and start. Please excuse our front porch. We just moved houses and it's quite a wreck. Okay, now now, I think I'm going to take this, I don't know if you can see dip, and I'm just going to drop, and drop. Just kind of, and then, at the bottom of the leg, I'm going to soak the whole thing. Maybe, let's see. I might even do this. I don't know. Cool beans. I hope that works. I really hope it works. Okay, so now, I'm sorry, this is like a very awkward angle, but this is the best I've got. I'm going to take my stencils off. I have no instructions on how to do this. I'm just making it up as I go. So I'm going to take my stencils off and see if it semi-worked. I mean, if it worked kind of, then I'm going to be happy. So, one moment, and here we go. This is what they turned out like. Honestly, I'm pretty satisfied. I just splattered some paint down this leg. And next I'm going to do, oh, and I dipped this in bleach. So next I'm gonna go get my hoodie. Um, my camera died. This, I've hit YouTube rock bottom. The one time I try to film, my camera dies. But I decided on the second jacket, I didn't really want to do the Chanel logo since I did a designer pant for the first one. And so now for the second jacket, I just like dipped certain places in bleach and then I splattered bleach kind of all over it. So let me show you how that turned out. Here is my jacket. I just splattered bleach, dipped it in places. And so yeah, here are the two final products. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on here or you can DM me on Instagram. I'm super excited to style these, honestly. Let me... These I'm like very proud of. Honestly, for bleach, one thing that I noticed while doing these is that bleach spreads. So you have to be really careful when using it, but these turn out sick. I'm going to end this little DIY video off here. I am currently outside dripping in sweat. Um, I'm just gonna leave these hanging up outside. We have like a little clothing rack on our front porch still from just moving, so I'm using it to my advantage and letting them dry there. I'll probably let them stay overnight and then in the morning, I'm going to take them off the hangers and wash them um, if you wanna see me style them. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's just Destiny Lace. I'll leave it below. But if you watch this whole video, thank you so much. I can't wait to make more videos. I'm going to try to be more consistent. It's just very hard with school and work and life. But I hope that you enjoy videos when I do post them. And thank you so much. I love you guys. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.